Jupiter, the great red spot on Jupiter, is actually generating energy rather than just absorbing the sun's energy. Mm -hmm. So Jupiter is actually giving off more energy than it's absorbing. So the question is, well, how in the world is it doing that? Well, and the answer appears to be this vortex that's created at 19.5 degrees. And so the, the theory now runs, and it seems to be true, it gets back to also the notions of, of platonic solids and the idea of a, of a three-sided um, uh, pyramid and where it would intersect, if you did a perfect, uh, it's really a four-sided because it has a bottom as well as the three sides. So if you did a three-sided pyramid and you placed it within a perfect uh, sphere, it would touch that sphere, the points would touch that sphere at 19.5 degrees off of the, off of the center axis. So, and this, this uh, scientific fact has been, was actually predicted by, I think it was either... Uh, Maxwell or one of the other scientists a couple hundred years ago that uh, the tetrahedral pyramid would would give off or disclose sort of the clue to a deeper physics to an understanding of potentially even the links with space time the the truths of hyperdimensional physics that it is at this point uh, where one can have a sort of breakthrough physics and one can understand how to in fact in effect leech energy pull energy out of the well out of the ether basically out of uh, out of what creates the universe and uh, and of course this gets into a whole another discussion about what is the ether what is the material of which what is the substance with which all of the universe is created and as I've, as I've said in one of the other books, the, the basic theory is that it should be no surprise to Christians that the, that the actual lowest substance is not atoms, it's not quarks, it goes beneath all of that. Mm -hmm. It is time itself. Time is the creation material that is the, uh, out of which the earth is fashioned. So whether it's matter or energy, beneath all of that is substance, the ether known as time. And... Uh, and so it appears that at a certain angular, with a certain amount of angular momentum mixed in, uh, which angular momentum is the rotation, it's the sort of the energy that's generated when a body is rotating. So these bigger bodies, the planets in effect, when they're rotating, something magical sort of happens at 19.5 degrees. And that is that the other dimensions beyond the, uh, the dimensions that we know of, the four dimensions, the fourth one being time, that at that point, um, space-time sort of buckles and we're able to bridge into the other dimensions. That this is the key, this is the key to understanding the way that Yahweh built the creation. Uh, this gets into the idea of uh, Sir Isaac Newton, that, um, that he had discovered the, the size of the sacred cubit, uh, this 25.2, uh, was not really known until his time and then even more recently, in, in our time, with Flanders Petrie and some of these other uh, scientists that discovered the, 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 the metronic um, yard, the megalithic yard is what it's called, megalithic yard versus the metric.